We will initiate this example by examining World Bank data from 2006. Our interest is directed towards measures of internet usage across the globe. In this scatter plot, each marker represents a country, and the position of the marker relates the number of fixed broadband internet subscribers per 100 people, as well as the number of overall internet users per 100 people. Two reference lines have been added, which separate the scatter plot into four quadrants. We would like to capture countries of interest in this analysis document so that they will be available any time we are analyzing World Bank data or other global data sources. Therefore, rather than capturing a country name, which may vary from data source to data source, we will capture ISO 3 country codes, which are a consistent reference to countries defined by the International Organization for Standardization. The first step in creating a list is to launch the list panel, available under View Lists. Then, we will mark countries of interest. This group of countries is interesting because although the number of internet users is moderate, a relatively larger portion of those users have access to fixed broadband. In order to capture the ISO 3 country codes associated with the marked data, we will need to select ISO 3 from this drop-down list. Then we can use the Lists menu to select New List from Marked. We will name our new list High Potential and click OK. You can see that the list contains nine country codes, and each of the codes are listed here. Let's mark a different group of countries, direct a new list to be created at the top level of the list's hierarchy, and use the list menu to select New List from Marked. We will name this new list Low Potential. Note that it contains 136 country codes, and if we click to activate this list, you can see the contents of the Low Potential list displayed. With longer lists, you may want to search for a particular item on the list. For example, if we were looking for Colombia, which has the ISO 3 code COL, we could type the letter C, and the values on the list which begin with the letter C are shaded. We could use the arrow down icon to step through the values looking for COL, or we could type the remaining letters which would isolate the matching code from this list. If we are done searching, we can close this search field. Let's create two more lists, one for each of these two upper quadrants. We will mark the data in the upper left quadrant, select the top level of the list's hierarchy, and create a new list for marked, which we will name Moderate Potential. Next, we will mark the countries in the upper right quadrant and create a new list for marked, which we will name Stable Growth. With these four lists captured within the list panel, we can close the analysis document. We will be asked if we wish to save any of the changes made, but since all we did was mark data, we can comfortably answer no to this question. What about the lists, you might ask? Well, that information is already saved onto your computer, separately from the analysis document. In this way, the lists you create will be available within any Spotfire analysis you perform. In fact, let's imagine that five years have passed since the time of that analysis. Let's open an analysis document which is based on World Bank data reflecting internet usage in 2011. If we wanted to examine the countries of interest, which we gathered into lists back in 2006, we can view the lists panel on this page. Because we captured ISO 3 country codes in our lists, we will need to identify the column containing ISO 3 country codes from this data table. Then, for any of the lists containing those codes, we can right mouse click and select Mark Items in order to view their position in the plot based upon the data from 2011. You can see that those deemed high potential in 2006 moved to the upper right quadrant, save for one country. If we mouse over that country, you can see that it is Aruba. If we mark moderate potential values, you can see a similar migration, save for Malaysia, the Slovak Republic, and Latvia, although Latvia is fairly close to our quadrant threshold. A quick examination of the stable growth countries reveals that they remained in their quadrant, and Bermuda and Liechtenstein have separated themselves from the pack with their high numbers of fixed broadband subscribers. Let's click where there is nothing in order to clear the marked data and proceed to the next page. On this page, a visualization has been created which is based upon a separate data table. This data table contains information about the number of telephone lines per 100 people collected annually across the five-year period. This line chart has been scaled based upon the minimum and maximum value collected for each country, such that we can examine trends which are independently scaled between 0 and 100% within each trellis panel. 
you can see by the color codes related in the data panel that these two data tables are not related. However, lists can be easily applied to different data tables within an analysis document, even in the absence of relations. Again, we will view the lists panel on this page. Change the column containing list values to ISO 3, and this time we will use the lists menu to change the interaction between lists and the Spotfire analysis document to mark automatically. In this mode, we can click through each list quickly and view the telephone trend for countries of interest marked in the line chart. Because the line chart is trellised into 210 separate panels, it may take a considerable amount of scrolling in order to view all of the marked country trends. Therefore, we may wish to alter the properties of this line chart in the data section to limit the data displayed to only the marked data. Now if we select any of these lists, the lines displayed in the line chart are limited to only those which correspond to the country codes in our selected list. Marking is one way in which the lists tool can communicate with the Spotfire analysis document. Another option is to select lists of interest while holding the control key and use the lists menu to create a tag collection. You can see the resulting tag collection has been associated with the active data table and that tag collection results in a new column added to that table as evidenced by this new filter at the bottom of the filters panel. Converting lists to tags, which are represented as categorical data columns, opens a broad array of possibilities for representing that information on visualizations, including the assignment of this column to visualization properties and filtering. For example, we could drag and drop this new column on the line chart in order to color each line according to the list to which that country was assigned. In fact, we could return to the Properties dialog and remove the marking limitation on lines displayed because now we can use this filter to remove untagged countries and focus only upon the data of interest. So in review, you may consider the value of lists any time you wish to capture a list of values from one analysis and carry them to be examined within other Spotfire analysis documents. And the application of those lists can take the form of marking data, or creating a tag collection, which leads to a broad range of utilities via the lists tag collection data column, which can be used for visualization properties like coloring or trellising, and interactive data limiting via the columns filter.